Hi, welcome to Tea with Jan. I am Jan. Today, we're gonna do some unboxings. Yeah, I can't even remember what I ordered. <laughs> and I'm also gonna show you what I picked up at the antique store, my favorite antique store, Great Village Antiques. It's local to me, but they are adorable and I just love them. So, maybe let's start with that and then we'll get into these boxes. First up, I found these adorable little teaspoons or demi tasse spoons. They're so cute, but they have <laughs> the most special little teapots on the tops of them. So, so cute. So I got, how many did I get? Nine of them and it was $5 marked on it, but I didn't pay that. Then these here matching um, knife rests. But they have teapots on them. So cute. I didn't even count to see how many things there were here. Two, four, there's six of them. And these were marked for six dollars. And I got a little bit better deal than that. Yeah, I just antique and collect teaware. <laughs> Look at this wonderful tea strainer. Isn't that amazing? So, so pretty. And it has the base. And then this is what it shows on the bottom. I still have to clean it up. Clearly, tags are still on it. Let's see. It says Imperial China Tea Strainer, Austria. Austria. And they said circa 1900, and I paid $12 for it. I haven't looked it up yet, but uh, yeah, I will be doing that. <laughs> Gotta give it a good thorough cleaning though. And I was so excited I found this. Ah! <laughs> Another one for my collection. So of course this is Ainsley Antique Turquoise. And I had been eyeballing one of these online with the gold flowers. It's just so pretty. The interesting thing about this one is that it is turquoise and it has turquoise trim here, but they actually do this like light blue um, color for the, what would that be? Leaves and stuff for decoration. Anyways, I only paid $15 for this. Look at the back of it. So cute. And I love that handle. So I still need to wash this up. I do, I would wash this stuff differently than what I showed you how I wash my uh, teapots because I find the teapots have all these little crevices that I can't get to. So I do a bit of a different process for them. So yeah, so I'll eventually show you how I wash those too. But if you have any questions, just leave me a comment down below. All right, tea orders. <laughs> we'll go with this one first. Great thing about having memory issues is that it's very much a surprise. I do know though that these were two orders that I ordered myself. And this is what we're seeing. <laughs> okay, what do we have? So I ordered some stuff from Camellia Sinesis, a Canadian company. This one is an Earl Grey blend. Very excited about that. So I got some sample sizes. I don't know. I'm going to have to look these up. <laughs> so... I love like their branding though and their design work is so adorable. This is a white tea. We're definitely going to do another video of this. This is the one that I found that has a little bit of the fur in it. Um, yeah, very excited about that. We're gonna have to do another video of this. This is amazing. Get my gray cream. And then we got this one, which also looks like I got it because it has fur in it. <laughs> so lots of tea to try. And oops. <laughs> Gary's right here beside me. I don't know if you can see. Gary's my cat. Oops. I 
<laughs> I saw this and um, <laughs> I was so excited. I hope you love it. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> How adorable is that? And then look kitty crawling on the inside two little things so adorable and it's a cute shape that is really nice i like that i bet you jeanette's gonna love this so cute so stay tuned and we'll do some reviews of these let me know if there's anything you want me to try first and now <laughs> I love that they actually do the box up too that you know I like the branding and stuff so super fun a cup of tea and both of these companies have been on my list of wanting to try for quite a while so I'm glad I finally took the plunge look at that it's so beautiful this smells like um, when I did the Vlogmas and was like putting tea into the box and remember how I was like, I wish you guys had smell-o-vision. That's what this smells like. Like it is crazy how good it smells. Even when I just went and picked it up at the post office, it was amazing. There we go. Right, let's see what we got. At Cup of Tea, it is our mission to provide the highest quality teas and tea wear at the most reasonably afford affordable prices. We aim to transcend our passion from the art of tea to infusing something extra benefiting to our community as we donate a dollar from each of our starter kits purchase purchases to mental health awareness causes. Very nice. Our journey began in 2018 when founder Taylor Lindsay Knoll was determined to turn a life-defining situation into a passion that has today transformed her into a flourishing entrepreneur. Drawing back to her early career as a gymnast, Taylor suffered a devastating accident while in training that has left her quadriplegic and wheelchair bound for life. Driven to overcome her challenges and transform her situation into something meaningful and extremely valuable to our lives, she launched Cup of Tay with the goal of providing the world's finest loose leaf organic teas and tea wear at fair prices. So wonderful, and that's Taylor. I am so excited because I got you guys a surprise. <laughs> I'm gonna give, um, when we actually go to try this, I purchased a gift card to give away to somebody, so I can't wait to do that. So stay tuned for that. Um, London Calling is the first one. Look at how pretty that is. Sip and Chill. And I also have a discount code for you guys too if you guys want to dive in before I try these. I think it's 15% off. I'll leave it down below. Uh, Purple Butterfly. Nom's Berry Delight. So this one is rose hips, green rooibos, hibiscus, raspberry bits, and stevia leaf. And everything's organic. Cha cha chai. And an English breakfast. And I also, I couldn't pass up one of her tins. So nice. And one of her spoons. So fun. I am very excited to explore both of these tea companies more. I can't wait to do that with you guys. I will see you guys in the comments. Until next time, take care. Bye!